Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Behemoth. Let's continue on for last time off. So, we're doing, I would say, pretty, pretty well. I'm just thinking, do we go to War Burgundy? Because right now, Burgundy is completely political isolated, other than their little, uh, not vassal states, but their spherelings. Uh, they really have no allies whatsoever. And they're currently are fighting a war down in Indonesia. So, the way I see this right now is even though Burgundy does have 65 divisions, a lot of those troops are currently probably in their colonies. Because right now we have no colonies. Burgundy is a handful actually kind of just around the entire planet. So, I think, in my, my infinite wisdom, that we, I think we just attack Burgundy. I mean, our, our alliance has to be stronger if I were to attack them. Moscow would say no. Everybody else would say yes. Which is interesting. Pomerania, Bavaria, Poland. Are you allied towards us? We would not accept. They're negative 52. I mean, too many alliances right now is at negative 40. What if we just... I mean, Muscovy is nice. They're actually about to become a great power king of Venice out of the list. Which makes sense. I don't even know why Venice was there. And I could say since we have Hungary as well. People are going bankrupt. That's fine. I mean, this happens every single time we reload the game. So don't worry about that too, too much. Um, Four artillery. Three artillery. I mean, our army right now is not great. I think it is kind of just garbage. Like, our, our ratios are way way off but i'm like there's no way we don't win where are you guys going you're going to there yeah how we do something like this okay we're gonna have a decent sized army and the thing is like we, we just want to attack burgundy while they still have no allies so i'm, I'm gonna take i'm gonna do a coward save even though i probably won't reload this and I think we're just going to attack Burgundy. With all of our allies we have. Everybody has joined in. Of course, Muscovy did not. Would you actually join my war? You're negative 53. Like, Muscovy, I still want to be your friend. Also, then we'll increase military spending. Increase, or uh, not increase, mobilize the armed forces. I'm just trying to think, do you have any access to our borders? The answer is right now, no. Also, why does every have cost of value against you? Oh, repay debts. Right, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's time for us to slowly march our troops into Burgundy. This is going to be a hard-fought war. Because, I mean, they still do have 65 divisions. But if we can get some early game battles to go on our side... Uh, hung uh, Hungary, yeah, I know. I need you to join the war as well. Thank you very much. And I'll also directly command your troops when we have the opportunity to do so. But I do think, first thing first, we do want to play... That's not my army. We want to play a defensive war to start off with. See, we take over... Um, we got to fight here. Aid our allies. So we can win. We got to get point for war score. Reinforce down here. Question is, can Aragon actually get to us? The answer is yes, because the, to, um, the dual monarchy does not like Burgundy. So they much would rather us... Are we, are we actually friends with the dual monarchy? 15? You know, not bad. They would much prefer us in charge of operations. More liberal is completely okay. Rex is taking a lot of casualties here. We're negative one. Trying to see, like, where do we lie on the battlefront? Because we can actually probably white piece out a decent number of these people as well. No, don't fall. Did I fall back in a... Okay, did, I thought... Worrying I fell back in a territory that's actually not held by us. We're at negative two, we have a plus... Oh, no, they're at negative two, we have a plus one. We are trying to fully fund our military. Got a nice 24 stack here. Let's mobilize armies up here. Yeah, it's like Hungary has to be mobilizing their army as well. But I will command their units. At least to begin with. Okay, let's get all of you guys together. 
You should. Are you a good defense? The answer is no. But also, we probably don't want to. Are we defending or are we attacking? It's a little bit hard to tell because I actually don't know who my allies are. But I think we are the defenders here. Uh, you want to surrender. You have no divisions and you are counting for uh, some war goals here. We're at negative three for battles right now, which is not great. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Aragon should move their troops into position soon. These numbers are not looking great. And an army here. You guys combine down towards the south. I mean, right now, our war is looking... I mean, it's 174 to 72. Aragon is riding 56 of that, so... It is more even than I would like. Congress of Paris. Did Russia unite? They did unite. Okay. You don't want to be my friend, though. So I believe that means we are not going to have our fantastic negative point for infamy loss anymore because of the foundation of Russia. Send these troops up towards north to help. We got a 36 stack. Send them in. Send you guys to reinforce as well. And the old guard. Do I want to support the reactionaries right now? Yeah, I'll support the reactionaries a little bit. We got point two eight there. We're now plus three. We could add another war goal, but really just having all this territory in our sphere to form HRE. It has to be the best uh, situation for us. We got a nice 21 stack up towards the north. Let's start sitting them down south. Like, how many? Still 174 to 72. You go take over Nuremberg. Send some units. I'm trying to think, like, what do we do right now? Could kill a small six stack. Okay, we'll send you guys over to here. Hungary is slowly mobilizing. Which again, is nice. Yeah, we now have an international code, unfortunately. We can easily kill this six stack. I don't know where the Burgundian army is going. But as long as it's a, as it's away, are any of you guys good? Plus one, plus two. But I'm sure you're both just pure infantry armies, right? Yeah, let's avoid taking that fight. Let's actually go here then instead. I'm thinking, like, what if we just march straight onto the Burgundian capital? I don't know where that is. It's all the way up here in uh, Anvers. What if we do something like this? Do you see that they're attacking our forces there? Then a 48 stack. I think we try to like sneak one small army through. Bavaria is on our side. We should win this fight. A 35 stack up here, 51. And we could pass a law. Um, right now the and there's a ton of reactionaries in government. Let's not reallow slavery though. At least not right now. Uh, honestly, you guys try to make your way up towards the capital. People are trying to surrender, but I can't allow that. Because it does provide us occupational score, which does matter right now. A 36 stack. Send down a 69 stack. Again, who's who? I don't know. Okay, there's a small army here. And if we can take the capital, we should win. Are you still fighting the... No, you're technically still actually fighting the war over in Indonesia as well. How many troops do you guys have now? 90 divisions? Really, that's not that many. Yeah, you march down to here. We got a 58 stack. March your way over to here. 
You're at 19. Burgundy, would you surrender yet? Still would not say yes. You know, this 21 stack, you come reinforce the siege in the capital. The front north is looking okay. The front north? The northern front is looking okay. Now you still stay here. Everybody wants out. They cannot leave. No, we want to select... Yeah, you go here. Doing okay in your capital. A lot of Burgundian forces. Let's just ignore them for now. And again, I'm, I'm just hoping that taking the capital is going to be enough. I think that's all of our troops that we can mobilize right now. I mean, Burgundy is really not that big of a threat. And after this war, I, I don't know if the dual monarchy has anything they can do against Burgundy. In fact, I don't know if anybody really has anything they can do against Burgundy at the moment. But that's okay. Bavaria want No, Bavaria, you're not annexing anything. The these, these are not happening, okay? One decision is going to be made... And it's just liberating Imperial lands. Why from Nassau? Why East Frisia? What are these war demands? That's my question. Is that these are very, very, very strange demands to make. Yeah, but we take, take your capital. Still n not enough for you to say yes to the actual uh, war goal. That I'm a little bit surprised by. Hey, okay, Aragon, you should be fine down on that front. I mean, more territory is slowly falling to us. None of our territory has been occupied at all yet. So overall, I would say that's pretty much a success. We're now 33. Look. You would accept? I mean, I don't care if these other people lose prestige at all. Like, Bavaria, if they can't do this, they lose prestige. Who cares? Honestly, we'll take our demands. All of this is now within our sphere of influence. Burgundy might... I mean, no, they're still probably going to be doing pretty fine for themselves. Demobilize the army. Let's send our troops back home. We are still going to definitely... We need to reorganize our armies, for sure. And now, I can form the Confederation of the Elbe? What is that? I just become a different country. Am I not forming the HRE? We're going to do another save just in case this, again, doesn't result in what I hope it does. But if I, if I can form one big country, I don't see why not. And now the Elephant Confederation. I mean, this is a pretty neat little country, I would say. Do I have any territory that I don't have? The answer is yes, actually. A lot of uh, territory right now. Also, it means I'm going to have a lot of troops I can build. Which is nice. Also, I do have some cores against uh, Scandinavia. They are at war with the Russians. Choose a trade policy. Let's go for a little bit of protectionism. Because now, technically, it's like a different party. Is now in charge. The monarchy is now in charge of the country. That's okay. So I guess I just can't become... I, th I thought we were going to be able to form the HRE, but apparently not. Burgundy's also at war with people way down the south. That's fine. I mean, what are, what are these guys fighting over? Oh, a bunch of cores. You know what? That makes actually perfect sense. So if they're fighting over there... I think we immediately bring the country back into war. Take over part of Scandinavia. Because, I mean, they have 44 divisions, which really is not a lot. Of course, we'll open all factories, subsidize all factories, boost our industry as much as we possibly can. And we're no longer a landlocked nation. That seems pretty good for us. And it does mean we can start building a navy as well. What else is core? All of this area over here is core. We should begin to, like, inherit some of these countries. Uh, Munster, throw a point into you. 
Yeah, because you're already in our sphere. We'll throw two points into all of them. You're neutral, Switzerland's neutral. Throw a point into Switzerland as well. And overall, that, that should be pretty okay. Hey, Scandinavia, by the way, I'm declaring war. I'm trying to take my core back. Thank you. And yeah, we just immediately sent troops into the country. Because the entire Scandinavian army should be dealing with the Russian situation. So overall, we should be looking okay. Poland, would you actually ally with us? You would accept. Thank you very much. Can I actually build some infrastructure in your country as well? I can. Trying to make sure nobody else gets influence there. Same with you. In Hungary. Thank you very much. And overall, I would say this has been a pretty successful episode. There are one, negative 20 there. Persia doing some stuff. I don't really care about any of that. Where are you guys going? The answer is I don't know. We're already at 6% here. You're doing a handful of blockades, but I really don't think that's going to matter in the long run. So, like, what actually is our, um... Bohemian and Elbian are our two accepted cultures. Uh, we want to go to culture, so... Bohemian here, and North German, basically. South German and Rhinish. We don't accept those people, but we still have cores over their territory. Maybe at some point we'll be able to make a slightly bigger Germany, I don't know. I mean, other it would be in here, right? If you could... Because you're not, you're not our vassal, you just kind of exist. Which, again, I'm kind of okay with if we don't form mega massive... Uh, but, uh, HRE. Okay, failed to cancel Italy. Nobody wants to unify. You would actually have a negative tw uh, 21 offer. But we should just slowly get more points as time goes on. Uh, we'll negotiate with the leaders. That seems okay. We just got ide ideological thought. Let's go for state and government. You're still all very reactionary. Let's get more workers. Assuming that workers are not in red, which they're not. And you are German pan-nationalist. Which could actually, I think, lead to like a tiny Germany. I'm really not too sure what's going to happen there. But we will... Okay, we actually have a 30 stack... Or 20 stack, I should say, of Scandinavian troops. Which actually is good for us, because we want people that we could go and kill. Attack plus one, attack plus two. They have no support at all. So it should be a pretty decent stack. Well, I've got three war score out of that. Finish the wipe. And send... Yeah, send a 36 stack down to kill the Austrian rebels. You still will not accept peace. Got another little bit of war score there. Thank you, Switzerland, for the peace offer. Or not the peace offer, the alliance offer. I will take it. I wish I had a better ally, though, than Aragon. I really don't think they're... Really what we need in the grand scheme of things. But as long as uh, Vienna doesn't fall to uh, rebels, we should be relatively okay. We now get 3% for this. I don't know what it caps out to, but we, we should hit the cap or they'll surrender. Whatever one comes first. And again, if Scandinavia wants to slowly send more and more troops to this front line, that's kind of okay. You're Italian pan nationalist. Still, I mean, that's a little bit worrying. But I don't think Aragon's going to fall to that. So, like, Northern Italy might unite. But really, does that matter so much? You're now 4.1. Daily change 0.016. I mean, that's actually not nothing. We got the Ethiopian Civil War. Somehow, Scandinavia is winning their fight there. Yes, that should all be cores of ours. And just like that, everything's going pretty well. 
send you towards the front line, send you towards the front line, and send you, why not, down towards Prague. And the old guard. It's just an MB. You are independence rebels. I mean, the Hungarian army should be okay enough to do that. Actually, independent rebels, those are not in vanilla, as far as I know. Yeah, and I don't think this three stack of uh, Patriots in Hamburg is really going to make a big difference here. Yeah, so overall, we probably do want to start looking a little bit outside of our territory to see who you want to start influencing. I mean, Spain is no longer such a great power. They're actually in 11th place. But they've got to be getting friendly with, like, the French or... No. The Truce of Spain. Okay. When does our Truce of Spain ex expire? It expires in... 51. That was... Was that the war about Hungary? Yeah. I'm surprised the war's taken so long. Apparently the, uh... The Italian pan nationalists kind of disappeared. Where do they go? Not too sure. Jackman rebels have launched. You know what? This 21 stack, you go deal with rebel occupation. You have a 73 stack down there? That's something, something that we're going to have to worry about. This stack should be cleaned up soon. You, of course, are more German pan nationalist. Yeah, don't let them take Prague. Because you are the, the Liberals. And we should win this fight handedly. Please go kill these smaller stacks. Thank you. Once you're done that. You can also kill the smaller stacks. So overall. Yes, yeah, so they're all going to be dead. Actually, no, yeah, you come back up to here. That's not our territory. You know what? Fair enough. And Scandinavia's gone bankrupt. So, I mean, they're still in fifth place, but... I'm surprised. I guess Russia's just been losing all their battles, which is kind of embarrassing for them. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anselm. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.